pelvic floor problems, bladder weakness. Uh, we as doctors call it stress incontinence, which is an awful phrase. Uh, it's just your, your pelvic floor is weak, uh, therefore y your, your bladder leaks when you strain yourself, when you cough, when you laugh, when you sneeze, when you jump up and down. Any strain causes the bladder to leak. When you've had a pregnancy, you've got the weight of that growing baby uh, on top of the internal organs, you know, stretching the muscles. Then you have the trauma of the baby going through the birth canal, through the pelvic floor muscles, you know, tearing them and damaging them. Um, and of course, every subsequent pregnancy, you know, adds insult to that injury. And then of course, when you get to the menopause, your estrogen levels are dropping and you lose the elasticity and the tone of those muscles. About 42% of women under the age of 50 have this problem, pelvic floor problems, bladder weakness. And, you know, they don't come to see the GP, you know, when, when they get these problems. Most women suffer for about five years before they actually you know, pluck up the courage to go and see the GP. So they're, they're not telling the doctor, they're not even telling their partner, they're so embarrassed. The best way to, to treat pelvic floor problems, uh, uh, bladder weakness, uh, is really to exercise your pelvic floor muscles. Like any muscle in your body, if you don't use it, you lose it. And, and don't we know that as we get older? The probe stimulates the muscles, the right muscles, in the right way. So the exercise you're having is actually working on the muscles that need is strengthening and, and working on them in, in, in the right way so they're contracting, getting stronger and stronger. And this involves just um, 15 minutes twice a day.